So guys, it looks like I'm going to keep this 3060 Ti. I was running an eBay auction and it just expired. And one guy earlier was emailing me, hey, I have an address in the U.S., but will you ship to Russia? I shouldn't have responded. I said no. Probably irked him. So what people will do on eBay for auctions, they'll go and make an account that day and they'll just outbid everybody else and they'll never pay. I never trust buyers on eBay. I've been, I've been lucky for the most part because I vet them and I do signature required and I will insure the shipment if it's an expensive GPU and that usually cuts down on the scammers. And then when I get the shipping address, I will look it up on Google Maps and make sure it's actually an address and not an empty lot or something or it's actually in a residential area. And if it's not a residential area or has a house, what I'll do is I'll cancel it. I'm not going to ship. It's usually a scam. They'll say they never got it. They'll say the box is empty and you're out 2000 1000 bucks on a GPU. So you really got to watch eBay. You got to watch people in general. I mean, even if you sell them Facebook Marketplace, you go meet these people. They'll try to shice you or steal from you. And if you're going to meet people in person through uh, Facebook Marketplace, don't do Craigslist. There's uh, another one too. But meeting people in person is, is very sketchy. Meet at the police station. Just say, go to the cop front desk. Hey, do you got a place I can meet? Can I meet in a lobby? A guy's going to buy something from me from eBay. And he'll say, yeah, sure, sure. And that usually keeps the uh, keeps things on the up and up. So again, I just said, man, this, this guy shasted me. What happened? I saw it. I said, oh, it sold. It sold for this thing, believe it or not, it sold for eight fifty two. But it didn't sell because he never paid. It just closed. I should have required immediate payment. I don't know why I didn't do that on the auction. And I looked at it, I said, oh, he has zero feedback. I click on the name, it's some number name, blah, 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 you know, a bunch of garbled names. And then uh, it said created today. I said, doubt, scam, scam, alert, alert, abort, abort. I just canceled it, said uh, out of stock or damage, done. I'm sick of dealing with that. I went and relisted it for a fixed price on my store. And um, I said, I don't know, I'm tired of dealing with eBay too, because they will take 13% off the top. So, you know, 100 so bucks, and it's just, I don't know. You only barely break even sometimes with eBay. Most times you lose money with shipping and crap. So I was thinking, wait a minute. What am, I'm, I'm waiting for cards. Why am I waiting for cards? I got a 3060 Ti I can adopt and put to work and give it a home, right? And I realized I had another 3060 Ti LHR running on ETH hash, getting like 46 uh, mega hash, right? Kicking butt. And if I add this card to the mix, it's going to get me closer to 900 mega hash. So I'm getting close to my goal of a giga hash, which we may be able to do. So I, I think, what do you guys think? Put this guy to work? I think I'm going to put it to work because that's not a bad hash rate, 46. And now the question is, where am I going to put it? Do I just slap it easily onto this new rig with the uh, Ryzen 9? Just, just quickly stick it in that slot because I got an extra PCI cable coming out of the um, the uh, Corsair uh, 750. I should have enough juice. I have to see what this guy's drawing. I forget. And I think it should be able to handle two cards at 750. If not, I do have this backup 750. I could just, I already got the cables and everything ready to roll. and just slap that together. I might just do that. I don't know. Or take that go into 10 over here and put it on the wood rig and then put these guys mining ETH hash. I had the 6600 XT mining nice hash um, on a Dagger Hashimoto, right? And then I looked up what to mine and it's like I can get better payout, make more, make more if I mine the uh, 6600 XT on ETH hash. So I might just shut this puppy down. And it's the same with the uh, 3060 Ti. ETH hash is the way to go. Nice hash is like a buck less per day if you go what to mine. So, hmm. You know what? I'm going to shut this one down. It's already hot in this thing. I'm going to slap it on here, put the extra power supply in. Because I think I'm all tapped out. That's not a modular power unit. Uh, and I don't want to over... It's a bronze one anyway, so I don't want to kill it too much i think i'm tapped out on pcie power cables anyway i don't want to max it out so i got the two cards and the cpu running off that and the motherboard 
So I'll just slap on a 3060 Ti, shut this down, reset MB minor to go to uh, ETH hash and uh, go to Ethermine. That's where I'm hitting right now. I'm still waiting for my payout of 40, my gas limit of 40, which I don't know, it was at 80 today. I'm going, oh my God, I might get a payout. But we'll see. I don't know. I don't want to up my payout. What do you guys recommend? Do you keep your payouts on Ethermine at 40 or what do you do? I don't want to spend a lot of money just to get my uh, my, my money accrued out. So it, it's almost like someone said Ethermine's becoming the biggest wallet on the net because everyone's just holding their money to it. All right. So we're five minutes in. Uh, let's see. What are we going to do? This guy is doing nice hash right now. And he's doing Raptorium. I love these things. These are the sweetest. I wish I would have known about these before they, you know, the buzz got out. Because I could have got a bunch of them for low 400s. Now they're $579. It's, it's, and they're out of stock. Unreal. And all the guys on eBay quickly up their prices from 430 to like 520 Then the next couple hours, 570 And then they kind of went down to 559 <laughs> Then they're all sold out. I don't know, they ship mine in a box. It's all beat up, and uh, it's like they're just they're just flying off the shelves. They are cool though. I really like them. Compare that to the Ryzen Five. Lot smaller. It's a baby, obviously a baby version. That's a broken GTX 760, but it still works. I can run video through it. Oh, thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. All right, let me uh, think about it. I'm gonna. I want to get. Boy, that'll put me at 900. Mega hash, do it. I think I'm just gonna do it. Screw eBay. Screw eBay and the hassle of dealing with scammers, man. eBay, eBay is like Twitter accessible. Uh, I don't know, but I did sell two cards. I did sell two GPUs recently without any hassle, so I guess I can't complain. It was the auction you gotta watch out for because they made the account today, outbid everybody else, and then they, I could tell, this is a scam. And then some guy emailed me, like I said, Email me earlier. I said this something doesn't feel right. Get out. Canceled it. Canceled it. Done. All right, let's do that. So what I'm gonna do? Shut down the wood rig. <laughs> shut down the wood rig. Uh, put on the uh, power supply under 750. I already got the cables. Put a riser in on that puppy. And I uh, oh, man, it shouldn't take long at all. It should like under 10 minutes. I can get this guy up and running. And I already had the power cable running through there to plug into that. That's probably the best solution. Uh, let's do that. Let's do that. I'm just thinking. And I already had the uh, MB minor ETH batch file set up. And I have the clock settings already for a 3060 Ti. And this is an EVGA, so it should be a rock, uh, rock hard. <laughs> rock solid. Uh, a rock solid performer other than the giga i have the other one is a gigabyte 3060 ti lhr so i'm going to use mb minor for their lhr hacking or improvement or whatever the decoding whatever they've done and go with that yeah all right well thanks ebay thanks ebay for uh, having a crappy auction experience after seven days I think i'm going to make 900 bucks or so and I just said, screw it, I'm out, I'm done. I don't have time to waste with these, these fools. All right, let's go to it. And uh, I don't need the show anymore, so that's what I'm going to do. And I think we're going to definitely get up. Oh, yeah, I think we'll get up to 900 mega hash. All right, guys, I'm out. Another short video. Oh, it's 10 minutes, not a short video. Just the the rants and what I go through because I'm... I'm going, I got the resource in hand. I don't have to go buy another one. Prices are going up anyway. So just take what I got and put it on the freaking rack and let's get, you know, get mining. Sounds good to me. All right, guys, thanks for listening. Where's my dog? Hey, dog. Oh, he's over there sleeping. I wish I could get him to work, man, but he just sits around, eats all day and barks at nothing. Barks at nothing. I like these little setups, man. I'm just enjoying This is fun, guys. You're in the hardware. This is a fun hobby. Expensive, but fun. All right, guys. I'm out. I will talk to you later. Wish me luck. And let's get this to 900 mega hash. And I'll let you know. I'll add on to the end of this video if I did make it to 900 mega hash. All right. Out. Boom. Just like that, we got a 
360 Ti EVGA LHR model. LHR, I know, I know, but you gotta take, you gotta use what you get, man. You gotta use what you get. And I'm running MB minor and about 40, eh, 42 hash right now, but it just started. What's the power? 119 power so far it'll 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 adjust out is that about right 119 power let me check let me go to the stats dun 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 looking for the stats 109 123 one oh, that one has so that's lower than the uh gigabyte the gigabyte the gigabyte uh 3060 ti is about 143 watts and this uh evj 3060 ti lhr is running 119 with the same clock settings we pretty cool so this guy could have been could have been i saved it i made it my own could have been an auction ebay auction but got a scammer scammer ruins it for everybody but i end up winning i said listen i'm not going to list it i'm not going to re-auction it and waste my time I'm going to put this guy to work and add to my rank, and I'm almost at 900 mega hash. So there you go. What do you think about that? So this is running on the wood rack. We got the Ryzen 9. I stuck on this 750, uh, I don't know if that's Hewlett, yeah, HP, HP uh, server uh, power unit. And I love these things. I do actually like these things a lot the, with the breakout boards. And then they got the breakout board with the uh, ATX. 24 pin I think for your motherboard and CPU you can get slapped on a butt but a parallel minor parallel minor that thing is about uh, close to 90 bucks so you could get a power supply you see what I'm saying you got to look at that stuff it's cute and all and I like the uh, idea of it but I can go out and get a nice Corsair gold 750 e even at these prices off Amazon for the same price as a breakout board with the uh, ATX plug and CPU plug and a bunch of fan things so you know I mean don't waste money on stuff that's not going to make you money again that's from the old Brandon coin guy I love that guy great channel I just love how he just slaps his stuff together has it around he's not he's just like let's get it working let's make money and let's not waste time on other stuff and you see the other channels which are fine but you, know, you can tell some guys put a lot of money into the setup and the racks and that it's like if it's an old plastic rack I had stereo equipment on, I'm going to use it. If it's a wood rack, I can get wood for like 14 bucks and build it. I'm going to use it because I don't care what it looks like. It's like being married. You know, when you're married, you don't really care what you look like anymore. That's exactly what it is with this stuff. You got to just make money. If you're always, if you're always out buying the fancy stuff, like I kind of fell for this stuff here. Um, I need a light. I got a flashlight here. It's kind of dark. In it. These these hangers, which are all all nice and all hobbyist minor stuff, I think was on it. And I just said, I'll buy some, and they're 40 bucks for six, maybe? Yeah. And then I'm just thinking, why am I spending money? It's it's a nice idea, and I get it. I'm not knocking them, but for me, why would I keep spending money on these things? Either buy a printer myself, a 3D printer, and do it, or, duh, get a deck screw, two and a half inch, three inch deck screw, and run it through, and it, this thing is secure. You know, it's in there. That is like free to me. You know, I have deck screws lying everywhere. Did it there too, and these are big, big, big butt ROG Strix 3080 Ti's. They are mother load. These are the mother load of 3080 Ti's. I, I actually hate them. I do because they they are hot. They are hot and they're big and they take one, two, three input connectors plus the uh, riser. I actually hate those cards. <laughs> I wish I tried to unload them, but then the place I was going to load them stopped taking cards. I said, ah, oh, I don't know. They may perform well with video games and crap, but I don't care. I, I don't like the fact that uh, they eat a lot of power and they're hot. So, uh, I mean, I like these little cards. I'm telling you, I love these little 6600s. I'm starting to dig them. They don't use much power. This thing is burning 65 watts, getting about 32 hash. And then there's a 1660 Super running right here, burning, getting the same hash, 32. He's burning uh, 84, 83 power. So these things are efficient, and I got—I think I got three coming. I think I was able to get three. I can't remember. I'll have to look at my orders. Sometimes they cancel them on you because, oh, well, we put them out there, but we really don't have the stock. Sorry. And you're like, eh, 
Jeez, Ryan, thanks for telling me. All right, that's what usually happens. I usually, uh, I'll see, I'll make some orders, and then like a week later, they cancel them on me. So I hate the 3080 Ti's, the big Strix ones. I hate them. I can't repeat it. They're, I mean, even for resale, if you buy them for, they're so expensive. And then you can't even get your money if you try to resell them on eBay. You're going to lose a couple hundred bucks. Uh, so I put them to work. But they're hot. And that's why I got this fan on it. This whole grow tent has been a whole experience with back pressure, positive pressure, negative pressure. I'm all over the place, but I know. I just had a whole, I had a whole day dealing with this grow tent and getting the airflow right. I'm trying to exhaust the heck out of this stuff. And it's, it's sucking air. And I had them all nice the temperatures down. I opened it up. Everything was perfect, so I did open everything up, and uh, now it's getting hot in here, so I got to zip this back up. I got this guy mining right over here, CPU mining with the Ryzen 9, CPU mining with the Ryzen 9 3900X right there, about 4362 hash for uh, for the short term there. I guess that's how they keep it. I'm still learning. It's on flock pool, and the Kablamo, Kablamo. There we go with the uh, 1660, 3060, 6600. I should be getting more. Oh, well, on that 3060, I got to check that. That's the, I might have to enable the LHR. I should be getting 46. I should be getting 46. I got to, I'll check my MBI mode. Yeah, I bet I didn't enable the right LHR mode or something. I probably have to do something. Yeah. All right, that's it, guys another video on what I do trying to figure it out as I go I'm no genius I'm no rock and sun I'm just slapping stuff together watching my wattage don't overtax any of these power units you know this this takes this much power this takes this much power you know split it up you know you'll you'll, you'll hear these fans wind up and you're taxing it you don't want that these things are hot so I'm just my thing is dealing with heat now I know everyone's done a grow tent heat thing and pressure and exhaust and exhaust and exhaust yeah, it's a, these things work, and they do keep the house cool, less hot, I guess you could say, but you got to get that exhaust out. And I only have really one bend. Not bad. It's not even 90 degree. It's probably like an 80 degree bend. But there you go. All right. Case. Here's another story, or here's a story of a 380 Ti, or 360 Ti could have been sold. Been scammed, almost scammed, prevented the scam by delete, uh, just canceling the order because it was a scam account and now this guy is making me like three bucks a day i think on uh eth hash ether mine eth hash ether mine you gotta lower the, the the fee and pay me out and you know what look what i just noticed on the 1660 i missed some plastic oh my god see that plastic <laughs> that stuff's gonna melt it's i mean they put plastic everywhere i mean i don't really care just give me the gpu it's on a sports car boy i missed all the plastic wow i must have been drinking that day look at that plastic in the middle on the middle pieces I wonder if there's plastic I usually get the plastic on the circle stuff off like let's cover the whole damn thing in plastic all right that's all I got what did I do today well we put it we put it through 3060 to work and I'm happy feel better about it and I am gonna enjoy this and button this puppy back up and sit back and um, stop sweating <laughs> all right I'm out Thanks for watching and bearing with me and going along for the ride. I mean, this is this is kind of fun. I like filming this and recording this. It's mainly for my logs, uh, for my record, so I can look back and say, how did I do that again? And what were my clock settings? As you notice, I take screenshots and I show you my clock settings, like right here. And I'll show you my, my clock setting page, and that's for reference. If people like the videos, that's great and all. I appreciate it. But for me, it's really for record keeping. Um, that's it because I lose my notes. Even though I put anything in spreadsheets, you could lose it, and you always go back to a video. All right, I got to find that dog. Take him out before he uh, starts barking or peeing everywhere, right? Or is that dog? Dog! All right, I'll go find him. All right, guys, I'm out. Take care, bye.